Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a quick tutorial. Um, it's not going to be scripted or anything. I've just I've been getting a lot of questions on how to um, effectively use the virtual arsenal uh, and how to get it implemented in your missions. How to uh, even how to start it? Like how does it actually work? And um, the instruction out there is a little kind of all over the place. And there's a few different scripts that do different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a the way that Arma wants you to do it or initially shipped with the game. And then I'm gonna show you a very quick way and just using a script to where you can get everything and everything you want. And it's super, super easy. Um, and this is without using Zeus, okay? So uh, even though I do have Zeus activated right now, I'm in the Eden editor, so I'm not actually in the mission just yet. I'm here in um, Stratus on a training base, whatever, you know, just, just here. I put some random things in here just to show you guys how it works, right? So uh, I've got a supply box here, right? And I've got uh, another support thing, some laptops, random stuff, okay? So I just, you can literally turn anything into a virtual arsenal, even aircraft. I can turn this into a virtual arsenal if I wanted to, but I'll show you how. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this. I'm going to open up its attributes. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to uh, um, Object Equipment Storage. By default, you'll see it's se selected um, on default, right? What we want to do to make it a virtual arsenal and what it doesn't actually explain is you can click on virtual right here and boom. Now you see like there's a uh, in this column where there's usually numbers, there's an infinite sign, right? So but that is just what's in this container right now because of what this thing is. It's just a supply box. So by default, these items are in there. I can go over to these different categories here. I've got assault rifles, LMGs, snipers, all the way down to some equipment. And I can select all the individual stuff that I want. I can say, you know, oh, I want 10 rounds, whatever. I want that. Boom. Okay, now I've got infinite of those of those things. And I'll, sh I'll go over. So 10 round M76. I'll go back to the contents of the entire thing. There it is. 10 round M76, 7.9 millimeter. Okay. There it is. Now, if I didn't want it in there anymore, uh, all I would simply do is select it and then hit the negative the little dash here and boom it's back to deactivated it's not going to show up in the contents and i'll show you it's gone see it's gone that's this is all the contents here um but as you can see and i'm scrolling here i've got a, i've got quite a few mods loaded rhs cup a couple of nine arms weapons uh i have a lot of mods man. and this is just assault rifles look at this bar not moving right and that sucks if you wanted to go all the way down um, that is going to take a long time. This is assault rifles. Again, you got LMGs, all this other stuff, equipment, helmets, etc. That would take four. Uh, that would take literally over an hour, hour and a half, maybe even two hours to select everything. Depends on how many months you run. If you want to select specific items, that's fantastic. Go ahead and do that. Select a few. You want to keep your mission uh, very specific. Do that. That's awesome, and that will work. You can just hit OK, and it will work. Um, however, instead of selecting everything for hours and hours and hours, what you can do instead is we'll just go ahead and click back to default. We'll hit cancel and just reset this. What you can do instead of going down to the equipment storage is you can come up to the uh, initiate uh, initiation, the expression called upon to start. So in the init of this object, go ahead and just I've got a script here that I'm going to put down in the uh, description below. Ammo box init this true call BIS function arsenal. So what this is going to do is it's going to call a function that is embedded within Arma 3 itself. And it's going to call the arsenal function. Um, Bohemia Interactive Studios function arsenal. Okay. We're just going to hit OK. All right. I can do that in anything. I'm going to go to this support box here. Same thing. Put that in there. OK. This laptop. Same thing. OK. This plane. I'm going <laughs> to put it in this mirage. Same thing. OK. And then I'm going to load up the game. Okay, now the game's loaded. You'll notice that a lot of missions that have a lot of uh, scripts in them uh, kind of get a little choppy the first couple seconds of the mission. That's because uh, all of the scripts that are in the mission are being ran immediately, so the, th the game has to think about all that stuff and enact those things. Uh, for example, the function that we just had. So we can now, you'll notice that we go up to these things, boom, and there it is, in the arsenal. In, uh, in our little menu here, you can select arsenal. Okay, I worked on that box. It worked on this computer, this computer. Oh, this one's already got a script running, so I, I, I can't do anything over top of that one. Or did I even put it on that one? I don't remember. Arsenal, you can do it in there. And let's go over this plane to make sure that one took two. Yep, there it is. There it is, okay. So what we can do now is just we'll go in here. 
select it. Let it load, and then here we go. Now we're in the arsenal. We can go ahead here and change anything we want. We got all the available things, uh, all the items, all the gear, all the NVGs, everything that you could possibly want. Um, with this script specifically, there are other scripts out there that don't work as they don't give you everything that you have loaded mod wise. Okay, so so keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, you can go in here, double click on it, change it. Okay, I want that gun. I want this gun. I want this backpack. Whatever you go in there, I want to change UAV terminals. Man, you you got options. Man. You got options. I want to change my balaclava underneath my helmet. I want this helmet on now. <laughs> Whatever. All you gotta do is, okay, now that you've selected it, you'll notice there's no okay. Uh, that's because the it's closed. You just go here and hit close, and there, there you see you've got all the new gear. Okay, go to my outside seat, changed. All my stuff changed, there it is. So that's how the virtual arsenal works. Uh, in a nutshell, real quick and dirty, nothing fancy. Um, so if you guys have any other questions, uh, hit me in the comments below, and I'll help you guys out as much as I possibly can, okay? All right, have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.